Cuauhtemoc, the last emperor of the Aztec city-state of Tenochtitlan, ruled from 1520 to 1521, facing the Spanish conquistadors in a desperate defense of his city at just 25 years old. Today, he's revered as a symbol of Mexico and its indigenous peoples. Born around 1495, Cuauhtemoc's exact birth date remains unknown. Despite this, his presence left a lasting impression, even earning praise from Spanish chronicler Bernal Díaz de Castillo for his elegance, a rarity among Aztecs according to Spanish accounts. As the nephew of two previous emperors, Moctezuma II and Cuitlahuac, and having married Princess Tequichpo, Moctezuma's daughter, Cuauhtemoc, was deeply connected to Aztec royalty. He possessed military experience from a young age and harbored a passionate hatred for the Spanish invaders. Cuauhtemoc's rise to prominence began amidst the chaos of Spanish conquest, marked by incidents that showcased his character. When the Spanish seized the Aztec royal palace and captured Moctezuma, internal strife among the conquistadors led to the emperor's demise, although the details remain uncertain. Diego Velazquez, the governor of Cuba dispatched forces to Mexico to challenge Hernán Cortés, fueling tension within the Spanish ranks. Cortés, leaving a significant contingent in Tenochtitlan, returned to find that his lieutenant, Pedro de Alvarado, had ruthlessly slain 600 Aztec nobles. This brutal act incited full-scale rebellion, with Aztec forces besieging the palace. Cortés urged Moctezuma to quell the uprising, but instead, the people pelted him with stones, inflicting fatal injuries. Legend suggests that Cuauhtémoc, defiantly brandishing a javelin, incited the assault on Moctezuma. Following Moctezuma's death, Cuitlahuac ascended as emperor, dismissing Moctezuma's fear of Cortés as the deity Quetzalcoatl. However, his reign was brief, possibly succumbing to smallpox after only four months. Despite this, Cuitlahuac successfully expelled the conquistadors from Tenochtitlan during the Noche Trist in July 1520. After Cuitlahuac's death, Cuauhtemoc was selected by nobles to lead. His paramount task was defending Tenochtitlan as Cortes prepared for another assault. The Spanish, allied with the Tlaxcalans, aimed to launch a naval attack on the city, situated by a sizable lake in the 16th century. Cortés offered Cuauhtémoc a final chance to surrender before initiating the assault. Cuauhtémoc adamantly rejected surrendering to Cortés, intensifying the conflict by decreeing that converts to Christianity would face sacrifice. Cortés initiated his assault in March 1521, aiming to control the Valley of Mexico near Tenochtitlan. Despite initial setbacks, Cuauhtémoc mounted a fierce counterattack at Tacuba, compelling the Spanish to retreat. However, reinforcements from Hispaniola bolstered Cortes's forces with soldiers, horses, and crucially ammunition, enabling them to assert control over the Valley of Mexico. With renewed strength, the Spanish launched a comprehensive assault in April 1521. Utilizing brigantines and ground troops, they besieged Tenochtitlan. Cuauhtemoc, recognizing the vulnerability of his troops in open terrain, shifted tactics, engaging the invaders within the city's streets. Initially successful, Cuauhtemoc's forces pushed the Spanish beyond the city gates. However, Cortes pivoted, targeting the Aztecs' food supplies. Seizing the main market with Tlaxcalan support, the Spanish threatened starvation, prompting Cuauhtemoc to mobilize rural reinforcements. Despite his efforts, Cuauhtemoc was captured during a lake crossing preventing the full implementation of his plan to relieve the besieged city. Cuauhtemoc's capture spelled the end of significant Aztec resistance. Initially treated with honor by Cortes, pressure from his treasurer led to Cuauhtemoc's torture in hopes of revealing hidden treasure. Despite enduring torture, Cuauhtemoc maintained his innocence, prompting Cortes to halt the brutality. In 1525, Cuauhtemoc served as an auxiliary soldier under Cortes in Honduras. Despite his loyalty, accusations of treason led to a trial where he was convicted and sentenced to hanging. While some, like Bernal Díaz de Castillo, protested his unfair treatment, Cuauhtemoc was executed later that year. In his final speech, he accused Cortés of deceit, claiming he knew his fate due to false promises.